Welcome to Sports Alley Official. Dhruv Jural's hard-hitting words for Rohit Baya, Dravid Sir makes hearts. Dhruv Jural had priceless words for Rohit Sharma and Rahul Dravid, who backed the youngster and picked him for the Ranchi test. Dhruv Jural has emerged to become the toast of the nation after the youngster displayed immense fortitude and grit to help India win the fourth test by five wickets to clinch the series against England. Jural fired in both innings, first hitting a career-best 90 while batting with the tail and then shepherding India's chase of 192 with Shubman Gill when the team were rocked at 120 for 5. A 22-year-old showcasing the resilience and maturity of a 20-test veteran, now that's what's best for Indian cricket. Jural, fittingly a judged player of the match and fresh from the high of the Ranchi test, put out a post on social media which hits right in the feels. Jural was part of the India squad from the very beginning, and although he had to wait for his turn, Dhruv made his debut in the previous test at Rajkot after KS Bharat wasted another opportunity. Hindustan Times, your fastest source for breaking news. In his debut innings for India, Jural hit an impressive 46, but his real test was in Ranchi where he more than lived up to expectations playing exceptional hands to assist India. However, all this wouldn't have been possible without Rohit Sharma and Rahul Dravid's backing of him, which he summed up perfectly via a short and crisp post. Thank you Rohit Baya. Rahul sir for believing in this boy, he posted on X with an apt picture. Jural strikes it red hot. Jural, whose mother sold jewelry to ensure her son stayed on the right path, and whose father endured taunts from neighbors for supporting his cricket aspirations, finally achieved his lifelong dream of playing for India. As he received his test cap from Dinesh Karthik, Jural immediately sought out his mother and humbly touched her feet, acknowledging the pivotal role she played in his journey to this momentous occasion. With India struggling at 177 for 7 and in danger of falling way short of England's first innings total of 353, Jural's resilience stood out. He struck a 77-run partnership with Kuldeep Yadav to stage a comeback and despite losing his partner, held up one end batting beautifully with the tail. By the time he was done, Jural had taken India to 307, just 46 runs adrift of England's total. In the second dig, with India needing Jural to repeat his first innings heroics, the 22-year-old went one better. His unbeaten 39 was possibly more crucial than the first innings 90, as Jural battled in form England spinners and against his natural instincts to bide time and get himself in. He and Gill put on 72 unbeaten runs to see India over the line at a time when one more wicket could have really allowed England to slip in. England's buzzball, less boom and more bust in India. It may have entertained, but England didn't win against Australia, New Zealand and now India. That's from my point of view, we try to do what we think is the best way to win the game. Which is why it was doubly impressive of the hosts to not resort to a rank turner at Visakhapatnam or Rajkot and win the series chasing at Ranchi, all without the batting new of Virat Kohli and KL Rahul. Samshuvar Laha is a sports journalist with over 11 years experience writing on cricket, football and other sports.